we got people from England on here. I got to speak proper English. <laughs> I don't think so. Pop a couple words in here. All right, here we go. Welcome to the 34th Annual Rhino Rally. For those of you from England, my name's Cecil. For everybody else, it's Cecil. <laughs> and, uh, right, yeah, see? We're going to go out here and see what we can find. We find something, I'll tell you about it. We don't find anything, I'll make something up. You know anything about animals? No. Nope. All right, you will by the time we're done. All right, let's see what we got here. As we cross the bridge, if you'll look to the left, you'll see the world's dirtiest, ugliest, and smelliest animal. What is it, Matthew? No, it's the people. Ha <laughs> uh ha! -huh. The people. But you also see the elephants over there. Elephants are the world's largest land animals. They'll weigh up to 14,000 pounds, drink 55 gallons of water a day, and hold about three gallons of Budweiser in their trunk at one time. But for some reason, Matthew, they refuse to drink this water here again. You may want to pick your feet up. <laughs> Do you want them to get wet from elephant water? Okay, that's where it comes from, too. Be elephants. All right, let's see here. As we come up the hill, though, if you'll look to the right, right here on the edge of the water, you'll see Bush Gardens, the most dangerous bird. The killer seagull. Don't believe me, drop a bag of popcorn. Oh, yeah, they can kill a bag of popcorn. Up here off to the right on top of the hill, you'll see these horned animals. These are the scimitar horned oryx. Their horns can reach 42 inches in length, and they can scratch their own backs. Oh, it went away. Matthew, did you see the zebra before it went away? Yeah. Actually, it's called a zebra, if you're from England. <laughs> zebra, 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 zebra. All right, well, we'll talk about them even though you can't see them anymore. Do you know what color a zebra is? No. No. Dark brown and white. Yep. Who knows what color zebras are? Dark brown and white. Dark brown and white. <laughs> no, because that's what color they really are. Ha ha, it is. Go ride the train and listen. Have you ridden the train today? Uh, yeah. You didn't listen, did you? No. All right. But further back there, I know she's back there pointing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's the Cape Buffalo. Africa's most dangerous animal. They can run about 35 miles an hour. Go back to zebras. You know what a baby, baby zebra looks like? No, it looks just like a big one, but smaller. If you would have listened while you are on the train, they would have told you that too. Oh, you were asleep? Okay. Maybe they were that boring. Okay, let's see what we got over here. It looks kind of spooky though, if you ask me. I'm sorry, it scared me. Did it scare you? Oh, you're tough. Quick look to the left. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Don't believe me, look again. Ha uh ha, -huh, you looked at nothing twice. Oh, but if you want to look good, picture the rhino. Look to the right. Take it now. Why, oh, he's got a long nose. Oh, that's the wrong end. Did you see it? Did you see his long nose? Okay. The white rhino is not really white, though. White's actually an African term in white because of his wide upper lip. Of course, you couldn't tell that from that side because it was the wrong end. But the white rhino is also the second largest land animal. Full grown, the males will weigh 7,000 pounds. We have no idea how much the females weigh because they won't tell us. Nobody I know is brave enough to ask. Matthew, would you ask a woman how much she weighed? I wouldn't either. But well, there he is off to the right. Click. Take a pick. All right, camper time's over. Straight ahead. It's going to be all right. You'll see flamingos. What did he do? <laughs> flamingos can live up to 50 years. And they get their color from the food they eat. So if you guys have any Skittles, throw them out. See if they turn into a rainbow. All right. We're now entering crocodile country up here. Off to the right are 12 Nile crocodiles. 22 feet in length, 2,000 pounds fully grown. Ooh, there's one right here in the water. And there's no one, another one further back. See it? Yeah. All right, the question is, where's the rest of them at? Hope they didn't get out again. It's kind of spooky if you ask me. No! Oh! Oh! oh, thought I saw one coming this way. Can't afford to lose anybody else today. Well, maybe one. Hey, Matthew, how you doing? 
<laughs> really? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Matthew, which way do you think we should go? Matthew. You're not Matthew. <laughs> You're not Matthew. Oh, go ahead. I'll go with the first direction you said. We're going to cruise back here to the rainforest where it never rains, but the ground's always wet. I think it has something to do with the monkeys. I can't prove it, though. They're always out here having water balloon fights. They really are. But if you look to the right on top of the green box, on top of the hill, the African stealth skunk monkey. See him? He's on top of the box. Do you see him now? Do you have an imagination? Oh, yeah. uh, what color is he? White. Purple. Uh-huh. See here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. All right. Well, let's just go across here, go through the poles. We're in good shape. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, the noise. Well, I got some good news up here, and I got some bad news. The good news is your seat can be used as a flotation device. The bad news is you need a screwdriver to get it loose. I don't have one. I drink mine. Let me get on the radio and see if I can get us some help out here. Rescue one, rescue one, come in, rescue one. This is rubber one. Rescue one, come in, please. Rescue one, come in, please. Oh, no. Either something wrong with the radio or something to rescue one. I hope it's radio, not rescue one. But this is my favorite part, Matthew. This is where I like to look to the back and apologize to the young lady in the third row with the blue shirt on. Hi, how are you? Look to the right. I'm sorry, today's not your lucky day. Because if you wanted to get wet, you should have been in the fourth row. Don't worry, it's not really water, it comes from the rhino. But there are animals that live along the ZBZ River, such as crocodiles and cannibals. We know they eat, don't wait for anything to move, so unless you have to. A slight glance to the left, and you'll notice the water's picking up speed. That can mean only one thing. Waterfall! Yes, waterfall. Doesn't look like we can depend on Rescue One unless they get stuck on the old bridge, and I guess between the crocs and the cannibals, they're taking out their dinner. Straight ahead, waterfall, 97 feet straight down. Oh yeah, oh no, we're gonna go backwards. Maybe not, maybe not quick. Everybody lean really far to the right. Maybe we get stuck on the old bridge by leaning to the right. No! Okay, we're drifting into the old bridge. Maybe we'll go up this road, conveniently placed here in front of us. Everybody in front of you is a black bar. Grab it with both hands, pull it down over your lap, Oh, that move. Say, go, 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 go. Or don't say it then. You don't play well with others, do you? Yeah, that's what I'd say too. All right. Let's just see what we got out of here as we turn the corner. Uh oh. Little bridge, big road. What do you think, Matthew? Go for it. Go for it. Okay, here we go for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. What have we got around the corner? The finish line! Everybody make some noise! What did he do? You guys had fun? My name's Cecil. If you didn't have fun, my name's Matthew. As <laughs> soon as we get the thumbs up, you guys go ride something really fun like the Ferris wheel. Have you ridden the Ferris wheel yet? Yeah. Why not? Huh? You don't like the Ferris wheels? Oh, okay. The best part about our Ferris wheel is trying to find it. But as you exit the vehicle up here, watch your head, watch your step. If you hit your head, it'll hurt all that. And you get 